definitely a spur of the moment uh, video that I just did. So it may not be as interesting or funny or anything like that. Um, hopefully it's quite quick. I am going to do a quick little uh, review of the Jeffree Star Alien palette. And this is the beautiful packaging. This is what it looks like. It's very, very big. And it feels like a faux leather. Um, he is a vegan brand, so it is faux. Um, but it feels very, very expensive. A great quality. The eyes are kind of like puffy or bubbled. Um, you can squish them, kind of. It is a magnetic closure. Interstellar, and this one is very, very uh, shiny. That's a good for brow bone or inner corner highlight. There you go. Brow bone or inner corner highlight. And let's go ahead and give it a swatchy swatch. And it kind of has like a goldy um, undertone. So I'm probably not going to do every color I don't want it to be okay I don't want the video to be too long so this is the green I used all over the lid um, and this texture is very very soft she said it's a new formula how shiny they are. Now this one's really cool. It's called Probe. It shifts to different colors, like a bluey purple green. And has like a maroonish undertone as well. Yeah, there you go. See, it shifts very different colors. This green is freaking amazing. This is called Flying Saucer. Look at how pigmented and it's so buttery. So there's those. Shade names Pluto, Titan, Alien, Interstellar, Abduction, UFO, Gravity, Martian Soil, Flying Saucer, Phone Home. Moon Rock X Files Ghost OG Area 51, and this is the purple. It's very, very. This is like a grungy look. I really like this side. And I used um, the green underneath. You can see all my rings. <laughs> and the side is just a very um, bright and tight side. So it is two separate looks. And I hope you can get into this. I hope you like it. The first color I'm gonna take, I'm gonna do just like a, a regular look here and maybe something different over here. So the first color I'm going to take is Titan. It's this bone color. 
on a Morphe brush. Then I'm going to take Gravity as my transition color. I have some weird lines here. I've been wearing this makeup for a while, so I was probably leaning up on something. Next, I'm going to take Phone Home and put that more on the outer corner and deepen the crease. Going to go in with Martian soil. I'm going to go into Interstellar and put that on the brow bone. Seriously. <sighs> Stupid tripod just fell. Now I'm going to go into X-Files and run that on the edge of the eye and in the crease. This color shifts, it's called Probe, and it's this one right here, and I'm going to pack that all over the lid. Oh wow. I'm going to put Pluto in the inner corner. Put some of Moon Rock, Moon Rock, in between the inner corner highlight and the um, Pluto. I'm gonna take Space Cowboy and put that on the very edge. I'm gonna take Titan just to light up this inner corner a little bit more. I think I went a little too dark right here. I'm gonna take a Ghost Fog and Flying Saucer on the lower lash line. I went ahead and cleaned it up with some powder and now we are going to do the eyebrow. Mascara. Cover Girl Clump Crusher. The eyebrow pencil was benefit precisely my brow. going to take the Marc Jacobs um, black eyeliner and run that in the waterline. This is the best eyeliner I've ever used because it um, stays on all day. The Marc Jacobs. I think it's $20. $22 or something. 
Now I'm gonna do the bottom lower lash line. I just do it kind of lightly. Now we're gonna do the other eye, something completely different. I'm gonna take uh, the Gaventina again as the transition, but a little bit lighter, a lighter of a hand. I'm going to take Abduction, this uh, neon green. I'm going to take Martian Soil and put that slightly above that. I'm going to take actually Flying Saucer, put that on the outer corner and in the crease. I'm going to do that on a more precise brush. Okay, my camera turned off. So, uh, why is it only... Oh, oh my god, I don't know what's going on today. But I just put the, um, Pluto, the light color, on the brow bone and in the inner corner. And I'm probably going to deepen up the crease a little bit and do the lower lash line. Even up the crease again with flying saucer. That is this metallic gold. And it is really gold. Maybe just pour it. We'll have to do it in the middle here. Area 51 for purple. And move it over the line. After I did my eyebrow, I did eyeliner and mascara. I also did a little bit more blending, um, but that's all for, that's everything that I used in the uh, Jeffree Star palette. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. Go get you one at jeffreestarcosmetics.com if you like the palette. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. It really does help me out. Um, as soon as I hit 1,000 subscribers, that's when I will be able to start getting paid from YouTube. So I really, really need help on gaining 1,000 subscribers. So thank you for watching. And uh, here's the close-up. I forgot. I really like this side. It's very grungy.